How's it going my friend? It's Danny here from foxohealth.com and in this video I'm going to talk about how we can stay young through some of the potential benefits of cold exposure including strengthening our immune system, increasing antioxidant activity, triggering mitochondrial biogenesis and many others as well and all the benefits I talk about in this video can be associated to being biologically young and also reducing our risk of disease as well. So quick disclaimer, don't take the content of this video as medical advice, it's for information purposes only. So first of all, how do we actually experience cold exposure? Well, there's many ways we can do it. We can take an ice bath, we can take a really cold shower, we can get into a cold plunge pool, we can go for a walk in our shorts and t-shirt on a winter day, jump into a cold lake. Something that's getting quite popular these days is something called cryotherapy, where you actually get into a chamber and the whole chamber goes really, really cold and it causes a big drop in body temperature. So there's many ways that we can actually do it. And I will say that the benefits that I talk about in this video have been derived from a variety of studies that use a variety of different cold exposure methods using a variety of temperatures, uh, durations and frequencies as well so it's not simple, it's quite complicated. Now that being said, it's my personal hope and suspicion as well that if I take a really, really cold shower for a few minutes a day, I should at least experience some of these benefits to some degree. And I hope I do, I hope I do, because here in the UK it's February now, and a cold shower is really, really cold, at least in my opinion, and I can feel it. There's nothing like it. It's a, like a stress to the body. It's like a big shock. It's like the body's under attack. So I hope by going for those few minutes of pain, I can experience some of these benefits in the long run. Okay, so let's jump in. So what are the benefits of cold exposure? So the first benefit of cold exposure is that it may potentially induce mitochondrial biogenesis. So what is that? So first of all, let me talk about mitochondria. So mitochondria are tiny little organelles that live inside all our cells. They form part of the structure of our cells. Some cells will have 100, some can have up to 100,000. And mitochondria are really, really, really critical to health and being youthful because they are responsible for producing the energy that we all use from everything from blinking to thinking. And that energy is called ATP or adenosine triphosphate. And without ATP, we would be dead in 10 seconds, so it's really important. So that's what mitochondria are, and mitochondrial biogenesis is basically the process of making new, fresh, healthy mitochondria, and we all do this naturally, we can all do it every day. Now the bad news is that as we age and as we get older, our existing mitochondria will get damaged, and damaged mitochondria or non-functional mitochondria are actually a driver of aging and disease. But also, as we get older, our ability to make new, fresh, healthy mitochondria through mitochondrial biogenesis diminishes as well. Now, as I say, the good news is that cold exposure can actually induce mitochondrial biogenesis, and it does that by triggering a gene which is the master regulator of mitochondrial biogenesis, and that gene is called PGC1-alpha. So, so cold exposure will trigger, uh, will trigger PGC1-alpha to induce mitochondrial biogenesis to make new mitochondria, and as I say, mitochondria produce the energy called ATP that we use for everything, and it's a cornerstone of health. So that's the first benefit of cold exposure. It induces mitochondrial biogenesis. Now, the second benefit of cold exposure is that it may actually uh, reduce the amount of damage we get from free radicals to our cells and our DNA. So I'm sure you heard of free radicals. They're also known as reactive oxygen species, or ROS, or ROS. Uh, producing free radicals is a natural byproduct of everyday living. We can't escape it, basically. And they will damage our cells, and they will damage our DNA. And this damage, if we don't repair it, it can lead to problems in the future, cancer being one of them. So luckily our bodies are naturally equipped to deal with free radicals and they do this through something called antioxidants. So we all produce antioxidants naturally in the body through various pathways. Now I like to think of antioxidants almost like cannon fodder, a little kind of metaphor. So basically it's like they're jumping on the, the free radical like they jump on a grenade and they take the hit for us. But it's better than that because when they jump on the free radical, they jump on the grenade, they're like supermen, they don't actually get damaged themselves in the process. So antioxidants are basically our body's natural way to deal with free radicals. So cold exposure may potentially reduce the amount of damage we get from free radicals because what it does it actually increases antioxidant enzyme activity in the body. So we make more of these antioxidants to deal with the free radicals. Now the two antioxidant systems or enzyme systems 
in the body that for cold exposure will actually increase our number one glutathione reductase and number two superoxide dismutase both of which are very, very potent and powerful. So we'll trigger these pathways to make many more antioxidants. Now I will say that if we can actually find a way to actually induce these pathways, these antioxidants pathways to make more antioxidants, it's much more powerful than taking antioxidants or a supplement or food. So that is a second benefit of cold exposure. It may reduce the amount of free radicals we damage, free radical damage we get to our cells and our DNA. Now, a third benefit of cold exposure is that it may actually help with depression and mood as well. So cold exposure will actually induce a robust release of a hormone called norepinephrine. Uh, norepinephrine is also a neurotransmitter and it's been associated to focus and attention and mood and our fight or flight response. So it's like the counter to depression. And it's been shown that if you deplete people's levels of norepinephrine, it will actually cause depression. Now, this is one benefit I think you can definitely get from a cold shower, because I find, I know that when I have a cold shower and I finish, turn off the taps, I feel much different. I'm very focused, I'm very alert, and I feel really good as well. So if you're skeptical, I would employ you to give it a shot. Just have a one minute cold shower, really cold shower, turn off the taps and just see how you feel. So that's the third benefit of cold exposure. It can help with depression and mood. Now, the fourth benefit of cold exposure is that it can potentially reduce the amount of inflammation in our body, and that's really, really key. So inflammation, a little bit of inflammation now and then is completely natural and healthy, and we need it. So a little bit of inflammation will actually help to also to get rid of the cause of cell injury, and it actually initiates tissue repair as well, so it is good. But the problem is if we have too much inflammation for things like too much sugar, that's when we start to have problems and it's been shown that high inflammation or chronic inflammation is a key driver of aging and it has been associated to pretty much every disease out there. So cold exposure can potentially help to deal with that. Now I've already mentioned that cold exposure will trigger a robust release of this hormone called norepinephrine, which has been associated to focus and attention. But norepinephrine can also help to inhibit our inflammatory pathway. And it does that by reducing the amount of a, of a, a key inflammatory molecule that we all make called TNF-alpha. So it reduces the amount of TNF-alpha that we make. And TNF-alpha has been implicated in pretty much every disease out there so we want to minimize it if possible so that is a fourth benefit of cold exposure it can help reduce inflammation and it does that by helping to inhibit our inflammatory pathway by reducing the amount of TNF alpha that we make which is a inflammatory molecule so the fifth benefit of cold exposure is that it can actually strengthen or potentially strengthen our immune system. And having a strong immune system is not only really important to help us to fight off colds and flu and that kind of thing, but it's also really critical to help us to fight off disease like cancer. So our immune system will actually kill cancer cells. So to have a strong immune system, we want a good stock of strong, healthy immune cells. Now, again, the bad news is that as we get older, our stock of immune cells will actually reduce, and also some of these immune cells will stop working as well, and that's something known as immunosenescence. So if we can find a way to increase our stock of healthy immune cells, we wanna take it. So cold exposure may actually help us to increase our stock of good healthy immune cells or lymphocytes, including uh, one called uh, cytotoxic T lymphocyte cells, and they play an important role in killing cancer cells. And it also helps us to increase something called our natural T killer cells, which play an important role in killing viruses and tumor cells as well. So that is the fifth benefit of cold exposure. It can help us to improve our immune system. Now, the sixth benefit of cold exposure is that it may potentially help us to slow down brain aging and stave off neurodegenerative diseases as well. And it does that by strengthening and repairing synapses. And synapses are basically how brain neurons actually communicate with, communicate with each other, and it's how memories are formed as well. Now, I will say this, this particular benefit is all theoretical at the moment, because all the benefits we, we, we've seen have been derived from animal studies and not human studies, but it's still very interesting and it could actually apply to humans. So how does cold exposure potentially help us to um, protect and repair synapses. Well, basically it turns out that something called cold shock proteins play a very important role in this process, particularly one called RNA binding motif three or RBM3 for short. 
So basically, cold exposure will, you guess it, increase the activity of RNA binding motif three. So it can basically exert its function, help to repair and protect these brain synapses. And the great news is, apparently even mild cold, mild cold exposure will actually increase the activation of RBM3 in humans, which is really, really good news. So that's the sixth benefit I'm gonna talk about. It can potentially help us to slow down brain aging and fight off neurodegenerative diseases. So those are the six benefits that I've talked about. So I'll do a quick recap and then we'll call it a day. So the first benefit of cold exposure is that it can potentially induce mitochondrial biogenesis. And it does that by triggering the master regulator gene of mitochondrial biogenesis called PGC1-alpha. And remember, mitochondria are these organelles that produce all the energy of our bodies and they're a cornerstone of health. Now, the second benefit of cold exposure is that it may actually reduce the amount of damage we get to our cells and our DNA from free radicals. And remember, it does that by increasing our activation of uh, antioxidant enzymes pathways in the body, basically. And the two main ones are glutathione reductase and superoxide dismutase. So by activating these pathways, we make more antioxidants to help to deal with these free radicals. Now, the third benefit of cold exposure, it may help to help us with depression and mood as well. And it does that by causing a robust release of the hormone or neurotransmitter called norepinephrine, which is associated to mood, focus and attention. Now, the fourth benefit of cold exposure, it may reduce inflammation in the body, and it does that by helping us to inhibit an inflammatory pathway by reducing the amount of a pro-inflammatory molecule that we will make called TNF-alpha. Now, the fifth benefit of cold exposure, it can potentially help us to strengthen our immune system by increasing our stock of strong, healthy immune cells. And the two key ones, or the two uh, key kinds of cells that it does that are number one, cytotoxic T lymphocytes, which play an important role in killing cancer cells, and also our natural T killer cells, which play an important role in killing viruses and tumor cells as well. Now, the sixth benefit of cold exposure is that it may actually help to slow down brain aging and fight off neurodegenerative diseases as well. And it does that by strengthening our brain synapses and repairing them as well. And it, it does that again because the cold exposure actually increases the activation of a cold chop protein called RNA binding motif free. So it can actually exert its function more often basically. So that's the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I found it very interesting reading about this. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified of those as they're released. But until the next time, please take care.